All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on in, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing something special here today, ladies and gentlemen, in the UFC. We're using the top 10 rankings in the UFC, ladies and gentlemen, to find out who is the best pound-to-pound -pound fighter here, ladies and gentlemen. This is number one versus number 10 in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready to get to this event here, ladies and gentlemen? It should be a very exciting event of the top 10 pound-to-pound -pound fighters here in the UFC. Next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup team. All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans, and the Rampage Jackson, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well, in terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time and of course as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss, and one draw. He stands. Five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting at a swear of para Brazil, Davison Donegueira Figueiredo! And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready fight. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick -em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key match. Look at them working at trying to shut the liver down. 
Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed that is by the how you scramble, folks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, nice. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. the win by submission, beautifully executed there on the ground. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes, he takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission, due to an omoplata, John Bones Jones! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result. All right, ladies and gentlemen, great win for the number one seed here, ladies and gentlemen, in our top ten pound for pound tournament ladies and gentlemen if you like what you saw here on youtube ladies and gentlemen go ahead hit the follow button if you're watching on twitch go ahead and hit that follow button also ladies and gentlemen we'll have more great content like this on the way see you later peace out